Okay, guys, this is K0MRD, your radio prepper. And what I'm doing today is giving you a quick rundown on how Chirp works. Okay. First thing you want to do, you want to make sure your radio is connected to your computer and that you have Chirp running. From there, your radio is turned on and set to accept uh, the new channels. You go to radio, download from radio, make sure your correct COM port is chosen, your correct radio, and the correct model, and then click OK. From there it does the cloning process, which can take some time because uh, depending if your radio has um, items on there, which you'll see very shortly once it's done cloning. Bingo! I have all of these already programmed in this radio, so I'm going to go down to some empty channels, starting with 35. Okay? Go to radio, query data source, go to repeater book, and then repeater book political query and that'll give you the state the county and the band you want so Iowa Polk County 70 centimeters click OK that's gonna open up a second image click on the repeater book at the top now from here you choose the repeaters you want so I'm picking Grimes, Grimes, Des Moines Waveland, Sailorville Lake, Des Moines, Des Moines Broadlawns, Des Moines Methodist, and Sailorville. All right, right click and copy. Go back to your image, starting at 35. Highlight the left click, and then right click, and then paste. Now a couple of these are not compatible because I'm not, uh, I don't have D-Star on this radio. So memory four and memory six are not supported. The rest of them are. And if you want, you can move them up if you choose. So there's no empty space, okay? You then click Upload to Radio. It's going to ask the COM port. Make sure it's the same one you've used. Click OK. And it's going to clone again. And this part can take a little time because it's actually uploading the uh, information to your image. And um, yeah. This is like the longest part actually. And depending on how many you have, you're done, okay? Those are now written to my image. Go to radio, upload to radio. Again, make sure your COM port, radio, and model are saved. Click okay. And the cloning process which can take some time depending on the number of memories you're importing into your radio but this should not be all that hard so I uh, la 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 waiting 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 once the green bar is done it is uploaded to your radio your radio will restart and then you can close this now you'll get an image, file is modified, save changes before closing. In this instance, I'm going to say no because I have these channels already on my radio. And there we go. That is Chirp in Action. This is K0MRD, your radio prepper, and I'm out.